completely the entire landscape of the Giza necropolis, including the pyramids and the Sphinx, display signs of erosion. This has led researchers to suggest that certain areas of this mighty necropolis were once submerged under the sea, and the newly discovered fossil makes this theory look a lot more believable. Archaeologist Sharif El Morsi, who has worked extensively on the Giza Plateau for over two decades, and his colleague Antoine Giggle, were the ones who made the discovery of this controversial fossil, which backs up studies and theories that the pyramids of Giza and the mighty Sphinx were once submerged under the sea. Sharif El Morsi and Antoine Giggle are the founders of Giza for Humanity. Dr. Robert M. Schlock was one of the first researchers to really address the theory that the structures of the plateau are much older than previously thought. In the early 90s, Dr. Schlock suggested that the Sphinx was thousands of years older than archaeologists believed, dating back to 5000-9000 BC. This suggestion was based on erosion pattern of water found at the monuments and the surrounding rocks. Archaeologist Sharif El Morsi has been researching and looking into the mystery ever since. During one of the photo shoots documenting patterns of erosion of several megaliths in the area, he made an even more surprising discovery that suggests that the entire area was submerged at one moment. Sharif El Morsi suggests that the Giza Plateau was once flooded by a surge. The temple site of Menkar in particular may have been a former lagoon when the sea level covered the necropolis, the Sphinx, the complex of temples and other monuments of the area. But there are several other theories which different scientists have suggested. Some researchers believe that the eschinoid found on the limestone was actually exposed by erosion and the fossilized creature was part of the original limestone that had formed 30 million years ago. But Morsi responded to these claims in an interesting way, and suggested that the creature was cemented, or petrified, in a relatively recent time, citing evidence that the creature was found placed gravitationally on the floor, that the fossil was in almost perfect condition and was located within the intertidal range of the lagoon, which is a big contrast to the small fish typically found in limestone blocks. According to El Morsi, the flooding was quite significant, peaking at about 75 meters above current sea level and creating a coastline spanning to the Kafa enclosure near the Sphinx at the Temple of Meng. El Morsi also believes that there is evidence present at the monuments and surrounding blocks that suggest the presence of tidal waves in the past, and even suggest an intertidal zone of about 2 meters. The Sphinx the Temple of the Sphinx, and the first 20 fields of the Great Pyramid of Giza exhibit erosion due to deep water saturation according to El Morsi. Dating the exact time of the flood is particularly difficult for researchers since in the last 140,000 years, sea levels have fluctuated by over 120 meters. Certainly this is a very interesting theory and we look forward in finding out more about the possibility of the Giza Plateau being submerged underwater.